Ten minutes with Jokey Pants. Yeah, it's a mess right now. Yeah, you got Jake Fett, you got Rabbit, you got uh, Captain Rex, you got R2 right there. Mando. Uh, you got Jin. Uh, yeah, you got all those other ones that I need. I need space to put up, you know? Jesus criminy, man. Then I got my Iron Man. Then I got my, uh, I got my, uh, you know, Jerome. Then I got my, uh, Mass Effect. Shit, yeah, it's... This is a mess right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're Seth, about to get into a fandom! Seen. The first episode is gonna be all fandom! That is Anthony's entire Transformers collection. Well, no, not the entire one. We also got... My... All my sound waves. <laughs> yeah. Put <laughs> in one from the 80s right there. Which cost me a lot of money to get in. <laughs> it did. It cost him a ridiculous amount of money, but oh. the, the, in the shelf of Soundwave that he just has. Yeah. That right there is probably five, four hundred to five hundred dollars worth of Soundwaves. Jeez. Christ. <laughs> Coming from the man oh. who sent us a three hundred dollar, over three hundred dollar fucking. Or, or no, sorry, almost two hundred dollar fucking Boba Fett Mandalorian, or no, just the Mandalorian thing, and you're like, I kind of want to get this. I'm like, that is way too much money, Seth. There's nothing should be like one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. And I was like, but I saw a Venom beating up Spider Man one that was like almost four hundred dollars. So you know what? I get it. <laughs> so Anthony, oh, and here's my R two D two collection right there. Oh my god, is that, <laughs> is that a pog? <laughs> Yes, those are my two pogs right there. <laughs> uh, so, what are we talking about? We've been talking, gentlemen. Uh, this is your ten minutes oh. with Jokey Pants. We're already two minutes in. Just oh, okay, wow. cool. This is a, pe a peek behind the curtain of what the fuck Oddcast is made up of. Because we're not, you know, we're not anything. We're just everyday people, and we're big time nerds and fans of things. And uh, this is a peek behind the curtain. Uh, my name is Anthony Denny. I host CLT Sandwich, co-host with uh, What Knock Off the Jared. My favorite Transformer is Soundwave and, uh, you know, Go Bills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't sports. Um, yeah, no, fuck the Bills. Even though I came from Buffalo, I still say fuck the Bills. They're terrible. Nobody loves them. Uh... Seth, what about you? We've, we've had you around. You've been around. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like I'm like just like the shadow of the group, you know. Like I I get on once in a while. I'm you know I, you know sit around and but you know I'm not really anything. I'm just a regular day gamer that, you know, know these guys from way back when. And uh, as of I right mean, now, you're my research that. assistant. <laughs> oh look at that! I need to get me one of those. Seth is is helping me get things uh, for some episodes we have coming up. Uh, which I do have some updates on that. I might as well throw that in here while I'm at it, because I know James will forget it. Yeah, James, I'm calling you out on the show that this is going to end up premiering on at some point. Go fuck yourself. Um, I have another bracket, but it's it's smaller, but it's in the same vein as the last one, and we'll see how that one goes. I think we're going to start off Season 2 with that soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But uh, going back to uh, these two here, I've, I've known both of these guys uh, Hi. <laughs> since 8th grade, Anthony and Seth. Um... Man, what a long road it's been. What a crazy road it's been. Both of you, uh, Seth, you're married. You got married last year, correct? Yeah, and uh, he's about to get married, too. And, so, yeah. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, sometimes it doesn't even seem real, you know? I was like, uh, how did we Are get here? Are we <laughs> dreaming of a new life? Yeah, I mean, it happens. <laughs> Yeah, both uh, both my best friends are, are married and getting married, so this is a fun one. The only the only one out of the the best friend group from people that I uh, known for a long time in that area was uh, Jeremy. Thank you for service. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you're going. So I'm like I'm ready. I'm getting ready. Thank you for your service. Um, 
Yeah, uh, he, he's never gonna get married, let's be honest. Jeremy is a... Uh, so, anyway. Anthony, you, you really like Zelda. We did a whole episode on it. Yeah, we did. I, I am a huge fan. I got a Zelda tattoo. No, you guys can't see it because we're not recording that. And my next tattoo will also be a Zelda tattoo. Nice. Seth, what the fuck? What? Oh, that, that looks like R4. Thing? It's R5, yeah. Oh, R5. My bad. Sorry, Anthony, you Sorry I haven't been up here enough. I, I, need, I know, I need to clean my office hands. Oh and Seth, you know, speaking of which, Seth, um, what would you say you're more a fan of? Star Wars or Game of Thrones? Oh, uh, definitely Star Wars. I mean, that was, you know, that was with me ever since I was, you know, I was pretty much indoctrinated since I was born, so. Uh, you know, Game of Thrones came into my life back in 2015, so it was very, you know, it wasn't really a big part of my life. And I would say, uh... Star Wars had a more impact in my life, just with old video games and stuff like that. Um, KOTOR. Now, if you talk about like Star Wars, how much I Star Wars in the last 10 years, I would definitely say uh, it hasn't been a big impact on my life compared to like Marvel. I would say Marvel dominated this whole uh, this whole decade for me with a uh, uh, you know just with all their stuff. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> fair. That is fair. I mean, it, to be fair to them, like, nobody's done them like Nobody had taken movies over 10 years, catched them all, made them all like, like, Nobody was doing that. Everyone thought that they were fucking crazy, and look how that turned out. And it's still going. We still have more coming. Uh... <laughs> A lot you know, of great. Well, it's coming, it's just, it depends on how. Like, are they going to go to a theater, or is it all going to be home? Uh, I, have what a, about, I, mean, I have a weird feeling, like, you know, even though uh, we keep talking about reopening, I have a weird feeling like it's going to be closing down for winter or fall season. It's just, that's how I see it. That's how I see U.S. going. I just, you know, the so we might, to, we might have to just people the, you know, completely online movie thing, and, you know, that's alright with me. I'm um, fine with it, too. Like, I don't mind. I don't have to buy more snackage or anything like that. I'm fine with it. Um, I mean, fun fact, pound for pound, popcorn is as expensive as filet mignon. Ouch. Movie That's... theater popcorn. Damn. It's expensive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so nobody here a big fan of Game of Thrones? I don't really have I mean, room like, to talk. I'm, I'm not really of... a fan. But... <laughs> I'm bullshitting I mean, my way through this. I have um, a flamingo decoration that I his name is Sandor after Sandor Clegane. So I'm Is that a dragon? Yeah, the that's sword? the House Targaryen. Um yeah, House Targaryen uh, bag. Uh I have the House Stark cup downstairs. Um I like Tormund and I like the Hound. Okay, I don't know who any of those characters are. I don't know the, the, the okay. extra characters from Lord of the Rings, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I gave it to Alexa. So, I mean, yeah, but I, the only one I don't have yet is Season 8. I'm not sure if I want to buy that on DVD. Uh, I don't have second. Season 8 or Season 1. <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. Yeah, I, right. I have 2 through 7, all on Blu ray, but not Season 1 or Season 8. <laughs> Why not? What a rage! <laughs> well, doing? I never bought eight, and I borrowed one from someone else, so never had to buy it. I'm actually honestly thinking about giving them season two through seven because they don't have it. It's like I've spent money on these; you take them. I don't want it anymore. I watched season eight. I, you know, big if words. We talk about Game of Thrones season eight. It should have just ended with the last of like. What was it, episode three or four when they killed the Night King? That should have been the end of it. It's, oh, they should have just altered the ending where the you know the White Walkers kill off everyone, and that's how the series ends. You know, your series ends with your mom. Uh, <laughs> so guys, a lovely uh, woman. You'd be nice. Yeah, she is. She's not my mother. My mother would be a. What are those? White Walkers. I 
Wait, oh. Ice people? Ice malls? What are they? I was gonna say cum dumpster, but I guess that's nicer. <laughs> Man, no love for my mom here. So, uh, oh, yeah. So this has been ten minutes of Joey Vance. Uh, that's Seth. We use. We use him a lot. Sorry, I had a cucumber earlier. I had a healthy snack. I cut up a cucumber with ranch. <laughs> trying, to, trying to be more healthy, and it, but the ranch like, made me burp because I had coffee. I had, I had tacos with mango habanero salsa. I had that. I had a uh, 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 poblano split open and then uh, cook them a little bit, and we filled it with uh, chicken enchilada, and oh. uh, we threw a uh, cut up tortilla in it. And then we kind of toss that around, let them all cook together. And then we threw it all back in, covered it in cheese, put it back in the oven, let them bake, and then ate it. They were fucking delicious. <laughs> what about Whoa. you, Seth? What did you eat for lunch slash breakfast? I haven't eaten anything yet. I let's see. I think I woke up at ten, been fiddling around. So Seth, don't you know breakfast is the most important meal of the day? I'm turned into the mic to say this. Coffee. So you know we're all. I mean, we all die someday, right? Coffee so is I might my well breakfast. Die <laughs> and then I shit uh, like a powerhouse like an hour after I drink it, and I'm good to go for the day. <laughs> but hey, man. Everybody has their way. Um, but thank you guys for being a part of the joke. Ten minutes with Jokey Pants. Of course, Anthony, you can find him when What, uh, what an Oddcast comes back here soon, next month. Uh, you can find Seth uh, whenever the hell he comes on. I don't know. He's random. He comes on. He doesn't come on. You, you can know. also find me on CLT Sandwich every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Correct. CLT Sandwich. Uh, Seth is probably going to be, uh, you know, part more of the show coming forward. Because, um, he, he, as I said, he's also helping me uh, research uh, some season two episodes. So we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you, guys. And thank all of you. Now back to Fireside. Or is it?